I'm here at Floyd Stadium post game following Middle Tennessee's 24 to 13 victory over Bowling Green. Middle Tennessee's offense looked back in their regular form tonight, but with John Arzua at quarterback and Brad Anderson tearing it up in the backfield along with Jock Bruce. And as far as MTSU's defense, they continue their hot play, getting in the backfield on most every possession, forcing some bad throws and, and runs and holding Bowling Green to a, just a total of 284 yards of total offense. But the fun didn't start here. Our own Jessica Watts was outside in the Greenland lot with some tailgaters and had a lot of fun. Let's check it out. Hey Blue Raider fans, I'm Jessica Watts and I'm here with Ken, one of the biggest MTSU fans. But this is his car and he also has a Bowling Green jacket in his car. So why is that? Because I'm uh, an alumni of Bowling Green State University, class of 79. So why are you a big MTSU fan? Been in Murfreesboro since 1986. Uh, big college football fan. This is my team locally. Love them. Been with uh, Coach Stock, been with Coach McCollum, been with Coach Donnelly, and uh, I'm all about Go Blue. We got grilled tamales, black beans, we got guacamole. So it's our fiesta. You see the sombrero? That's how you know it's a fiesta day. What's your favorite Middle Tennessee memory? Uh, the New Orleans Bowl, uh, the win over Southern Miss. We had had, uh, we'd, we'd had a few, but it's got to be uh, Car Danny Carmichael intercepting, sealing the win for middle against Southern Miss in the New Orleans Bowl. As you can see, I had a lot of fun today with tailgaters. Back to you, Tyler, with tonight's player of the game. So I'm here with tonight's player of the game, number 11, Brad Anderson. Brad, you kind of were all over the field tonight. You ran for 107 yards, caught for 98 yards, and had that long 64-yard uh, touchdown. Is that something that they really wanted you to do this week, is to be out of the backfield and in the slot in the receiver position? Um, definitely. I feel like all the running backs, we, uh, we're pretty versatile. They recruit us a certain way, you know. So we're prepared to play slot and running back at any time. I mean, the formations we work at practice, we're always going back and forth. So I feel like it wasn't much I had to change. It was just, you know, just a different position. I mean, we're versatile enough to do both, and that's what we did. Now, that 64-yard touchdown from Urzua to yourself, that was certainly the highlight of the night. Walk me through that play because I know it was your first uh, career touchdown in, in, in blue and just what were the emotions around that play? Um, it was very emotional for my first college touchdown. I mean, it was great. I want John gets a lot of credit for that. I mean, he put the ball in the money. But it was something we've been practicing all week. They told me all I had to do was beat one man, and I beat him, and I, it, was, it was to the races. I mean, I went back to track, and I just – Ran as fast as I could. Awesome. Well, Brad's not the only one who stepped up tonight. After the game, head coach Rick Stock still spoke in the press conference about other guys who stepped up and contributed tonight who haven't necessarily been a big face uh, in these last three games. Here's what he had to say about it. I mean, you look at it, I mean, we played so many young people. You know, Elijah Dobbins was in there, a true freshman in the offensive line. Cole Kirby, a true freshman, is in the offensive line because of the injuries that we've had. Um, you know, I thought our guys stepped up. I thought, you know, Tyrese Johnson and Jimmy Marshall at receiver and uh, Ulysses Williams, a walk-on from Albany, Georgia, you know, caught a ball, uh, played, um, you know, and then Brad, you know, had a really nice game back there. And Jock, first time he's ever played running back in college. Uh, you know, so we had a lot of guys really step up and, and uh, you know, played pretty well tonight. Middle Tennessee is back in action next Saturday when they travel on the road to Florida Atlantic to take on the FAU Owls and head coach Lane Kiffin for the very first time. Kickoff is set for 6 p.m. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts and online for all things Blue Raider athletics leading up to the big day. For GoBlueRaiders.com, I'm Tyler Lamb.